mouse is searching for food in a cage when it is suddenly and inexplicably lifted up. And it turns out that there is a hidden gorilla inside the cage. Kevin is the head of the research of transparency technology. They have successfully made the gorilla invisible, but have not found a way to restore it. Kevin was looking at the pretty girl in the window across the street that night. As he always does, when he was stopped by a pay window, he suddenly figured out a way to restore invisibility. Kevin assembled a team overnight to develop an antidote to invisibility. They tied the gorilla to the lab bench. And in order to find the gorilla's veins, the assistant sprayed a blue object into the ear and tapped it, and a large blood vessel appeared. Kevin injected the drug into it, and as it began to flow through the veins, the heart appeared. Soon blood vessels appeared all over the body. Then the skeleton was slowly restored, the brain and organs appeared, and finally the gorilla was restored to its original state, and was once again the blackest gorilla in the lab. After they went off to celebrate, Kevin returned to the lab alone, and looking at his invisible work, the idea of experiencing transparency arose within him. Without hesitation, Kevin reconvened the lab and began the second phase of human experimentation. With the assistance of his colleagues, he injected the transparency agent into his body. Soon his body underwent a marvelous transformation. His skin began to turn transparent until it turned into a white bone and finally became completely invisible. In order to prevent Kevin from having any accidents, his colleagues had to take turns to guard him for three days, observing his vital signs. That night, the duty assistant fell asleep. Kevin suddenly had an evil thought. He went to the assistant and did what every invisible person wants to do. Suddenly the assistant woke up, looked at her open shirt and rushed to the monitor, and realized that Kevin had just gone to bed. She instantly realized that Kevin must have done it. The next day, the assistant told her co-workers about the incident, but Kevin didn't admit it, and the incident was over. The three days were up, and Kevin was forced to take the injection, but no one expected that when the potion entered Kevin's body, a marvelous change would happen. This man is the world's first transparent man. Three days of invisibility experiment time has passed, with the invisibility potion injection. As the potion was injected, his heart slowly began to appear, and the outline of his body began to appear, but no one expected that the potion would be ineffective. Kevin went into invisibility again, and couldn't go back to his original form. In order for Kevin to have a normal life, his colleagues had to customize a rubber body according to his body proportions, so that even in his invisible state, he could be seen by everyone. Time went by, but no recovery method was found. Kevin stayed in the lab for a few days, but he couldn't stand the loneliness after all. He left the lab alone. He returned home and stood by the window as a matter of habit. The beautiful girl across the street was still playing the pay content, and at the critical moment it was still blocked by the curtains. Kevin could no longer restrain the evil in his heart. He took off his gloves and looked at himself in the mirror. Kevin knocked on the door of the beautiful woman. The beautiful woman opened the door but found no one, but did not know that Kevin has entered the home. When the beautiful woman back to the bedroom, Kevin a hand will be pounced on her. After 30 seconds of wanting to do things done, Kevin then sneaks back into the lab, but his co-workers are extremely upset with him for sneaking out. But he didn't care. Lisa reported it to her boss. Kevin overheard the whole thing. In order to control Kevin, the supervisor decides to report to the top management, but the phone line has been cut off. Suddenly, a strange noise comes from the backyard. The boss slowly walks over there. When he turned around, Kevin pushed him into the pool and drowned him in the pool, and then left his home. The partners heard the murder and realized that Kevin was out of control. They brought along thermal imaging and prepared to control Kevin. Just as the black girl turned back to get the thermal imaging, Kevin pounced with the rope in his hand when the colleagues heard the sound and rushed to the scene. They only found the black girl's body. Now everyone panicked. They tried to open the door of the laboratory, but found that the system has been modified by Kevin. Even the telephone line has been destroyed by Kevin. It goes without saying that they know what Kevin is up to. In order to catch Kevin, they turned on the lab scout and quickly locked onto Kevin's location. At the same time, they grabbed their guns and quickly rushed to their destination. But they didn't realize that Kevin had disappeared from the map. Suddenly an invisible force lifted the fat man in midair. His colleague saw this and shot at the exhaust valve. Under the steam a face was revealed. The transparent man quickly disappeared into the mist. Eric shot again. The exhaust pipe was broken. The transparent man came out from the fog again and pushed Eric to the ground. Eric grabbed a fire extinguisher and sprayed it into the air. The transparent man reappeared and then knocked Kevin down with a single punch. But Lisa arrived in time to save Eric. Lisa arrives just in time to save Eric, and Kevin kills his labmates one by one. Lisa and Eric are also put in the freezer. Kevin decides to blow up the lab, so that he can do whatever he wants with the invisibility technology. On the other hand, he used the Tesla coil principle to make an iron-absorbing stone, successfully opened the cold steel door, and chased after him with an oxygen tank. 
Kevin was about to take the elevator to leave. Lisa sprayed Kevin on the elevator. The whole body was instantly set on fire. Kevin was burned off his clothes and head, covering without any injury, and went invisible again. In order to find Kevin, Lisa triggered the fire, extinguishing device with a flame. And with the spray of water, Kevin was revealed. Kevin punches Lisa when she's not looking and then stomps on her neck. Lisa is about to choke to death when Eric knocks Kevin down with a stick. But Kevin doesn't die. He picks up a crowbar and tries to sneak up on them. But Eric pushes him to the ground and the crowbar hits an electric switch with sparks flying, and Kevin collapses under 100,000 volts. Lisa and Eric rush back to the lab, only to find that the time bomb has been activated. They had to run out, but the elevator was locked. They had to climb out of the elevator shaft and up the ladder. As the bomb exploded, the elevator was swept out, and they dodged just in time to escape. When they climbed up again, they didn't expect Kevin to be alive, but he grabbed Lisa's legs, and they fell onto the elevator. Lisa stepped on the switch when Kevin wasn't looking, and Kevin fell into the fire. Lisa grabbed the wire and survived. In the end, Eric and Lisa managed to escape from the lab, and the movie ends here. Invisibility technology is everyone's dream. If you had invisibility technology, what would you like to do the most?